Hey everyone, this is Fireworks Tutorial and I am going to try to do an iPod review for you guys in around 10 minutes and try to cover as much as possible in here and questions I've been getting and I'll try to answer them and give you a quick review on the iPod Touch itself. Alright, so uh, basically I've got the iPod Touch 3rd generation 8GB and I'm considering this as the 3rd generation because a lot of people have been complaining in my last video that I haven't gotten the sec I'm pretty much getting the second generation iPod but actually Apple considers this the third generation iPod but just know that the specs and um, hardware of this 8 gigabyte iPod touch is pretty much like the second generation um, which is sad but if you if you have the 32 and 64 third generation then you get hardware upgrades and everything in there Alright, so this is a simple box the iPod comes in. Um, this nice plastic box. box is really small, and you get your iPod in there. And in there, what you get with your, along with your iPod Touch is an, a quick or a quick start guide, some Apple stickers, some warranty. Um, you also get a dock connector for your iPod. You get earphones. And you do also get a USB cable. And um, basically this USB cable is to connect to your computer so you can charge up your iPod, sync applications, and set up your iPod itself. And yes, you do charge up your iPod using the USB cable. I've um, been getting a lot of questions about it lately, and um, that's how you charge up your iPod. So you guys can see the... Basically what's missing is the cleaning cloth that you get with the second generation you're not getting in the third generation, which is sad. A uh, downer dab Apple's kind of removing um, stuff from their iPod touch accessories, but it's not such a big big deal. Um, you can just get a simple microfiber and clean down your iPod or a piece of paper or whatever it is. It's not such a big deal. Okay, so something I wanted to say is that in the 8 gigabyte model, you just get your standard earbuds. But in the 32 and 64 gigabyte models, you do get a microphone along with your earphones. It's um, integrated in this um, thing right here. And basically because the iPod does get voice control in the 32 and 64 gig model, and um, that's why you get along with the microphone. And in the 8 gig, you don't because there's no hardware upgrade. There's nothing new in the 8 gig except 3.1 3 software, which um, also, also supports Bluetooth. So basically, that's it. I just wanted to state the difference between the 8 gigabyte and the 32 and 64 gigabyte. Um, so just I'm just saying, there's no new, nothing new in here except the new hardware. And the new price, you can get this iPod for $199, I'm counting in USD dollars. You can get the 8 gigabyte, gigabyte model for $199, you can get the 32 for $299, and the 64 for $399 dollars. And um, basically, here's what you get with the iPod. Um, you get obviously the touch screen. You get your home button right here. You get a 30 point, I'm not sure, a 30 millimeter um, adapter, whatever it is, right here. But this is where you charge up and connect your iPod to your computer. You also get a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And you get volume rockers right here. You get the sleep wake button, also the um, power button. And in the back, you get your wireless or Wi-Fi, um, I'm not sure what this is called, Wi-Fi connector thing. But um, this is where you find the internet and everything. And you get a really nice chrome backing, which is, I'm going to admit, a scratch magnet. You can just rub your finger against it and get it scratched, which is a big downer. I don't like that about it. But it's the truth, and what I do recommend is you guys go get a um, full body protector, invisible shield for your iPod, because it's going to help it a lot. 
Okay guys, um, with the YouTube limit, I'm gonna have to go through this pretty quickly, um, with the YouTube, the, not YouTube, but the iPod's interface. Um, okay, so anyways, um, the iPod, uh, I just wanted to mention, um, one thing. Um, your iPod, uh, when you set up your iPod onto iTunes, you do, uh, you lose one gigabyte for the setup. It sucks, I know, but um, just setting up your iPod, you lose one gig of memory. But we need it for the setup, so yeah. Okay, anyways, right here, you do get your time, your date, your battery life is up here, your wallpaper, and you get slide to unlock. And we'll go back here. Okay, so basically you get mail, con calendar, videos, contacts, YouTube, stocks, maps, weather, voice memo, you do need a microphone, notes, clock, calculator, we'll go in here in just a minute, and nice thing about calculator, it doubles as a scientific calculator instead of just a standard old calculator. In settings, you can change um, obviously the settings and in iTunes listen to me buy music you got Safari music photos and app the app store and those are just the applications that you get when you set up it's totally free so you don't have to worry about that and you can set up multiple mail accounts so you can read like mails from all your accounts and in videos you rent videos or buy them from iTunes. Alright, so I'm going to show you something like this Safari. So as you guys can see, we're on Yahoo right now. I'm going to show you the speed. By the way, this is the 8 gigabyte speed. The 32 and 64 gigabyte is going to be a whole lot faster because of the new hardware update. So just keep that in mind. Alright, I'll go to Google. And as you guys can see, pretty loads up pretty darn fast. Um, great speed, decent enough for me. I'm not going to use it for the ultimate um, um, web browsing because this is an iPod and um, serving the, the web at that speed is just perfect. Um, something I'm going to show you is photos, how you're going to look through photos. As you guys can see, I've got a few saved photos right here. I've got wallpapers. I can zoom in, zoom out. And right here, we can just flip through it and change view using landscape or portrait view. As you guys can see, here's my smiley that I made. And um, you can also take snapshots which is cool. Alright, something else I want to show you is the music. And I'll quickly go through settings in just a bit. And as you guys can see, I'm listening to a Roland K album right now. Uh, you do get that Shake to Shuffle with the 3.1 software. And if I tw turn it, we get cover flow mode, which is nice. So I just quickly listening, quickly listen to one of our songs. Okay, so that's pretty much all I'm going to show you because of copyright. But I'm going to let, give credit to the song um, with the annotations. Um, okay, and settings, not much in here, but just wanted to show you, but we're almost out of time. So we do get set up our Wi-Fi. We get notification, brightness, general music, video, photo store, mail contacts, calendar. That's where you set up all your mail accounts. Safari. And then general, you can set up your wallpaper and location services 
And you do get quite a ton of stuff in the settings. Um, you can set up wallpapers, sounds, network, and all that stuff. Um, and you can also get restrictions, which is also parental control, in case you don't want your, your kids to go on safari on the internet, watch videos, or listen to explicit music. That is all I'm going to show you on the iPod. Um, the rest you're going to have to find out by yourself by getting an iPod and checking out by yourself because we're almost out of time for YouTube's limit, sadly. Um, so that's all I'm going to show you in this video. Hope this video helped you guys out a bit. And um, to me, is the iPod worth it? Yes, I think it's worth it for 200 bucks. $300 might be a bit too much of an iPod for me because I can go out buy a laptop or something with that money. But that is all I'm going to show you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.